Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Shivani and I'm so happy to see you here. This is Burpee, a conscious revolution where I help you to build a conscious mindset so that you can live a life that you desire and that you dream of. So, now that the introduction is done, welcome to the What is Science Reading. It's for Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio and I'm excited because of course even I'm a Pisces and where are my cards? Yeah. And uh, April has been one of the most uh, uh, magical months in terms of the growth that we have experienced so far. Uh, this year uh, is lighter than the 2018 one, but nevertheless, we are still really in a place of transition as I feel we are manifesting and integrating all of our internal lessons into our external. So yes, that is what this uh, April has been about. And let's see what we have for the month of May. I am excited for May because it's summers uh, as the cycle of uh, nature goes. It's the time for fruits, right? Uh, the tree I'm seeing outside, it's barren and it just has fruits. So, we did the work in December, we planted the seeds and now rewards. May is definitely the time for a lot of karmic rewards. For the water signs, I'm suddenly feeling a very heavy energy, so I definitely feel that you guys have been feeling a lot of emotions, of course. Uh, we have been going through a cycle of revisiting our past and revisiting things that we thought we had sorted out already, but it feels like it's coming again. Uh, it's fine if it is, just lovingly release it. I'm really feeling that lump in my throat, so I really feel you guys are feeling a lot of emotions and it's and it's not even all that bad. It's because we think like feeling emotions like, oh my God, now what next? I just feel there's just emotions, happy, sad, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to feel. But you guys are feeling a lot right now. Queen of Cups. As I just said, this is going to be a month of emotions you will be empathizing even more but i feel you guys are really opening up your heart to a level you thought was never possible it's like crack open the heart and you are understanding that your capacity to love is so huge you guys are really 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 looking forward to uh avenues and places and things which give you an opportunity to share your unconditional love, to share your healing gifts, to share your your emotions. Uh, think of things which can drive this energy which is penting up so bad to a place of creativity. Think of what you are feeling driven to create. Uh, what your what what can be built through your emotions, right? So it's all about how do you harness that energy. And right now you guys are feeling a lot of emotions, uh, because the love is just so overwhelming in your heart. Because I think a lot of you have healed from a lot of things, and when you do heal, you look back and there's the sense of, oh my God, I am so proud of myself. So yes, you guys have intense self love right now. And what do you do when you have the cup overflowing? You become the queen of cups and you share that cup. Uh, I really feel this month you will be feeling called if you haven't been feeling called already to start exploring careers, to start exploring awareness projects where you can bring the feeling of empathy forward. Yes. Uh, definitely a start of something new. Uh, I feel when you combine your feminine and your masculine energy, that energy of emotions combined with the energy of action, 
you can really create a lot of new things in life. And I think that's what would be happening for you if it hasn't been happening for a long time. Uh, you will be really tapping into those emotions and you will be taking that leap of faith. Fools, there will be a calling to take that leap of faith and to take the steps that you have been feeling to take for a long, long time, but you haven't been able to. And that was because there has to be these certain healings which had to take place before you could fully embody your gifts and before you could fully step forward in this full energy and take all the actions that you feel guided to take, that you feel driven to take, things that you want to create, the job you want to start, the business you want to start or probably a relationship for that matter, whatever it was. I feel that you have been in this limbo for a while because you were meant to heal and be proud of your emotions honestly not put them on the back burner but be proud of them so um yes that's what i think may is going to be all about lots of uh, fresh starts uh taking that leap of faith uh, which you have been really in the making of taking it for longest time and now you finally take that leap because now you are not embarrassed about your emotions if that's what I want to say, yes. You are no more embarrassed about how empathetic you are, empathic you are, <laughs> empathetic, I'm sorry, I'm tripping that. <laughs> so yeah, whatever, but you're just in a place where you are in pride of who you are, of how sentimental you are, how emotional you are. And you have decided to use these as a gift instead of thinking of them as courses and be feeling like you're done feeling embarrassed and sorry for who you are. Because this is who you are, guys. The lovers was about to slip, but it did not. Let's see if it's going to come for the next. Uh, we have the devil. So, as I just said at the beginning of this video, that this is the time for you to start manifesting a lot of things, right? A lot of things that you have been dreaming about, visualizing, being in the, uh, doing it behind the scenes, doing the internal work, that will now be manifesting in your physical. Uh, you need to be a little conscious about overspending and overindulging because it's like you have been... In the closet for so long and now you're coming out it's like someone coming from a jungle from the jungle they've been for a long time and they come and they sit on the dining table and they see all this food and uh, they haven't seen it for a longest time and they just want to uh, overeat uh, indulge and go crazy about it that could be with food that could be with shopping try to control those things because we're already in the Taurus season and there could be a tendency to overindulge. Uh, so make sure you don't do that uh, because you are in the world, people are watching you and you are watching people and you are meeting people and you are having a lot of opportunities and you are really taking a position. It's very unsurprising for the Queen of... We began with Queen of Cups and we our last card is the King of Pentacles. So I feel that the month of May is going to be a lot about your transition from being someone who has this cup of love overflowing, literally overflowing with all the love that you have in your heart and how that transitions, how that shifts to... Uh, create something abundant, uh, masculine, uh, something authoritative and something which has a say in the world, in the materialistic world. So, uh, I feel that the month of May for all of you is going to be about coming back into the world. Be surprised 
by a lot of opportunities, offers, people making their way to you because right now you guys have that charismatic touch. Like everybody is being attracted to you because we are in this phase of transition and what you have been healing on for so long, it, it, it's like now people are in that transitioning energy and they are amazed and awed by what you have done, okay? And now they are going to come to you, which can cause you a little bit of friction because you may not be sure whom to trust and whom not to trust. You may feel like you have to keep your guards up. You may feel like you may have to protect yourself because you have been hurt before. You have to keep your guards up because people always break your heart. And that could be a good thing to do, but uh, the lesson I feel that has been coming up for all of our, us water signs has been that keep opening your heart. You cannot live life standing on the edge, protecting, just, just standing on the door and just waiting to slam it on someone's face in case they hurt you, in case they leave, in case they break your heart. What happens then is that you do not allow yourself to love completely. And uh, I feel water signs, as much as obviously we all love to be loved, uh, what really causes us a lot of pain is that when we are not able to love fully, to give our love completely and fully. And that, that, that really uh, impacts us on a deep level because we have been wired to love. <laughs> if I should say so, but we just have so many emotions and the best thing what emotions can do is to share that love with the world, right, with people around you and what causes great pain is when people do not allow us to share that love and in this period I feel like you guys will be now using everything that you have learned so far to help other people, to love other people, to teach them what you have learned all this while. And this is happening because you guys have been working on yourself. This is happening because you guys have been uh, healing a lot of aspects of you, which earlier had always kept you in that, in that you know, I want to love, but I don't want to love, right? Like, I'll just slam this door on your face in case you break my heart. Like, you guys have been on the edge for a little while, and that's not the real you, honestly. Like, as much as it did to protect you, it never even made you happy, right? So, now I feel that you will be in this position where you allow yourself to open your heart completely and you use, uh, there's this very beautiful quote by J.K. Rowling, I built my life on the foundation of depression, like, like on the foundation of rock bottom. So rock bottom was my foundation, something like that. And I feel that's what you guys are. Like you guys are literally taking up everything that brought you to that place of rock bottom and building a beautiful castle out of it. And it's a very abundant castle, I should say. Uh, it's very abundant. It's very rich. It's very beautiful. It's just the perfect thing that you had always dreamed of. And it can come to life. It is coming to life. Ace of Wands. Uh, also expect a lot of people coming forward to help you doing that. Please allow people to help you. I know you guys want to do everything on your own because, you know, people don't understand you. But I think those have been just mindset beliefs which you got to just like, you know, do away with. People are here to help you, to celebrate you, to support you. Allow them to help you because when they help you, they opens doors to for you which you thought were never possible. Right, but never available to you. So you see light in the places where you never saw before and it does happen because a lot of people are getting attracted to you. So yes, A, do make sure, like, I think your intuition and your third eye is so sharp right now. You can make that decision that who is good for you and who is not good for you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. You do not have to get convinced by everybody. You do not have to do what others are saying. But at the same time, you don't have to shut them off right? There is a midway and now you know that there are always creative solutions available to your problem. 
I feel May is really going to introduce you to a lot of infinite ways and doors and opportunities which exist for you, which probably before you couldn't have seen because you were just so single focused, single minded. But now as your heart opens, so does your mind open and so does you see a lot of things. In all, it is a great month for you to really channel all that emotional, beautiful energy you've been harnessing for so long and really channel it to create something that the world needs. What is the gift that you have that the world needs and you can uh, you can really uh, tap into it and create something which helps people at the same time helps you. Like this is something which is going can bring you so much of abundance you cannot even imagine right now. So yes, harness that as it comes to you. I'll pick up one card from the Walk Your Light Oracle because I feel a lot of you are shifted to this place of complete surrender is what I'm getting because I just saw this card. Uh, as you surrender, the, that the more you surrender, the more you recognize the opportunities and miracles available to you. So let's pick up one card from this deck and let's see what do we have. Okay. So we have two cards. Uh, protection and no so basically this is really the time to call back your power to cut the cords and to retrieve your soul of your lost fragments so as I just said at the beginning of this video that you used to feel very embarrassed and used to feel very guilty of your own gifts because those were just not the things that the world is... As I said at the beginning of the video that it is time for you to start taking pride in who you are. The materialistic, the matrix world has been for long not been in uh, complete confidence with the feminine energy of emotions, intuition and healing kicks. But now people are uh, becoming more open to it and even you are like, I feel completely ready to share those gifts. So if there is still a part of you which is kind of like bummed, uh, embarrassed or guilty about, you know, about just how the world is going to perceive you. Now is the time to call back your power, to cut cords with any of those mindset beliefs which are keeping you in that limiting self, in, into that limiting place because... You do have gifts which can help so many people you cannot even imagine right now, right? So, yes, really, it's time to, if someone is trying to, or a set of people, because they, as I just said, there will be a lot of people coming up to you right now. You have to, you have to kind of like uh, make a very clear uh, differentiation who is good for you, who is not good for you. There will be people who will come for help. There will be people who will come to help you. But then there will also be people who will come to kind of like test you if you have that confidence in yourself or not. And call back your power if you feel that people are really, uh, you know, not uh, understanding you or your gifts or misunderstanding you or underestimating your healing powers. Only you can... Be proud of who you are. Only you can give yourself that place of validation, proof, approval. No one else can do this for you. So I hope this makes sense for you. And I hope you all have a beautiful, wonderful May ahead. Uh, join my Facebook group if you haven't already. And I hope you're following me on Instagram. All the links are down below. Check my website too. And I love you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful month ahead.